Okay, another horror movie. Um, it's October, so, you know, I'm definitely in the mood for horror movie trailers. I mean, I'm always in the mood for horror movie trailers. I watch horror pretty much every day of the year. When I'm working, it's like a horror movie I almost always have on. So, but October really gets me even more in the mood. So this is for a movie called One Night in October, and I don't know anything about it, so another one I'm jumping into completely blind. Let's go ahead and press play. Just be careful. People get really stupid in this town around October. Okay. I'm not going to hurt her. Hello? Is anyone here? You know what we have to do. This is not a you-ask kind of thing. This is a you-tell kind of thing. That'll make for a great game. That mask. Right? That was in the mask. That was picture in the thumbnail. Okay, um, so there's the thumbnail for a trailer that I watched before I did this one. And uh, I was thinking a little bit about that trailer when I was watching this because there's a bit of a contrast between it. I had mentioned after I saw that other trailer, Stay Out, Stay Alive, that it looked like it was kind of low budget, but not the lowest budget. Like you could tell they had some you know, some decent funding for, you know, the filming and special effects and stuff like that. But it wasn't, certainly wasn't on like the highest end um, of filmmaking as far as, you know, budget goes or money goes. So um, when I'm watching this one and I'm thinking about the other one, I was thinking of the contrast between the two with regard to that, the whole budget thing. This one looked like, this one looks like it's a lower budget film than the other one. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad story, but you can certainly pick up on things like the audio quality and the um, the video quality when you watch stuff like that. And when it and when you and it's uh, the sound does so much for a movie, and so does lighting. And this uh, nothing necessarily is wrong with the lighting in this, but what I noticed more than anything was the sound, the audio quality. They sounded like they were in a room with bare walls and their, their, their voice was bouncing off the walls, reverb. So, um, that was, that was the first thing that I noticed. The other thing that I was thinking about as I was watching it was this, that this seems just like this previous trailer that I watched, it seems pretty formulaic. Um, but like the other trailer that I watched, it is something that I would check out. And I do not think this would be something that's going to come to our theaters, but if it did, I would not go see it. Um, this trailer, with regard to the length, was even tighter than the other trailer. This one clocks in at under a minute and nine seconds. So very compact storytelling that went on in this trailer. But I feel like it did a decent job with it, and they were building the suspense you know the momentum of the suspense was escalating little by little with each text you know imagery that they would flash across the screen and you can hear the music was starting to go up and swell and you know you're so you're you're, you're starting to feel more tense as you watch it uh, and I think in that regard it was it was pretty well done and the editing was fairly effective with regard to that how, how it was all constructed put together so, um, yeah, just like in the previous trailer, though, I didn't recognize anybody in here. So, these two, um, these two movies, this one also in particular, it seems like the, these are like indie films. A lot of this, the trailers that I watch are for indie type uh, movies, just because they show up on my YouTube and they look interesting. So, I, you know, I bookmark them and watch them, but you can tell 
that they're not, you know, big studio type films, which is certainly not not really an issue. But um, I'm noticing that the that this one in particular feels like an indie. I'm curious to find out um, what it's going to be like, how it's going to end. Looks like there's going to be some witchcrafty stuff going on in there, based on the book that they showed in in the in one of the in one of the clips of the trailer. So I'm not sure. I mean, this one doesn't look like there's supernatural stuff involved, but them showing that book of what looks like witchcrafty stuff, maybe there is supposed to be. I mean, it looks to me like it's just like a, a basic type of, um, you know, these people are dressed up in masks and it, it seems to me like it's a home invasion type thing. I might be completely off. Um, maybe these are people who, you know, worship the devil or what the heck ever, and it's not necessarily anything really supernatural is going on. Or maybe there is something supernatural, but the only indication that I could notice was the uh, presence of the book. So it makes me wonder. Anyway, um, I'm... Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm certainly down for checking this thing out. Uh, don't know when it will show up on my streaming. Let's see what they say about a release date. I did not check release date of the last one. They just say movie and theater soon. So that doesn't really tell me a whole lot. But um, anyway, I've got a record that I watched it. So if uh, it pops up on my streaming, I will be checking it out. And I think that's about a wrap for this one, you guys. Later.